Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in today's video we're going to talk about the editing history button. Really handy little thing. I've got the Visual Builder open here and we've got a little clock icon right there. If you don't see it it's probably because you haven't got this open. Just click on your little purple button in the middle at the bottom. There it'll be. And what the edit history does it shows you everything you've done since you edited this page. Now it's only going to work from the time you entered your Visual Builder. Once you've saved and exited and gone back in, this won't be here. But if you've been doing a lot of work on the page and something has not gone right, or you've created something or added something and things break, you can go back to that point in time before while it was working and just click on it and it'll fix it for you or it'll take you back to that particular time, the history. So to demonstrate that further, let's just create a quick page and add some sections and I'll show you exactly how it works. So let's add a new page. We'll give it a quick title. And of course we'll use the Divi Builder. I'm going to build from scratch and let's start popping in some saved library sections. Now this would work better the history obviously when you've been doing a lot of work on a page but I'm just going to throw something together real quickly. Add from library. Let's add another one. And let's add one more. And let's chuck one down at the bottom here. Okay, we got a few little sections there. Let's just make some changes. Let's perhaps Put a gradient background on the back of this one. I'll leave it just like that. And put a colored background on this one right here. Let's take the opacity down so we can actually see what's going on here. Great. So we've done a few things on this page and perhaps something's not working correctly. So let's go down, go to our history right here. There it is, a little clock icon. And bottom is where we started, cleared layout, loaded layout, remove section. Here's the last thing we did. If I go back below it, last thing was add that color background. So if we go one below that, it takes that away. We loaded a layout, so if I click on this one, just below it, takes that little layout away. And if you want to redo something, just roll up, and it brings it back for you. That's a really handy little feature. And you can go all the way down to when you first went in there. Click on that and it'll take you back to where you first started. And if you decide that's not working, you can go further along and it'll add the things you added further along. Once you're happy, save, save draft or publish and exit the Visual Builder. And there's your little page. And that's a really handy little feature, quite often overlooked. And it can save you a lot of time redoing stuff if things go wrong. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.